If I couldn't pursue music, I'd be an astronaut, for sure. I'd even like go to school, study it, scientists, because I'm just fascinated with space in general. And uh, and my mom's dad actually worked for NASA, so I've always kind of had that like explorer kind of uh, kind of mindset. Yeah, there's a lot of people I want to work with. Um, but a lot of times it's outside of hip hop. Like, um, like I want to work with James Blake. I want to work with, um, I want to work with Andre 3000 for sure. Uh, Kanye for sure. Uh, Most Def would be dope. Um, and then a lot of it's like indie arts, like Passion Pit. I want to do like a whole record with them. I think it's important to write and produce because just at least from a fan standpoint, like for me being a fan of music, every time an artist wrote or produced their own stuff, it was like authentic to me. Like it's, it just felt like it was coming straight from the artist. Like even sometimes when you hear songs on the radio, uh, no hate, but it's like, you know that artist didn't write that song, so you don't feel like it's coming from them. Um, so just as a fan, I've always been like, man, it would be cool if I can just straight from me to the people just give music, you know? It doesn't have to be like anybody else's, you know, mindset on it, too. The rain is on the window, the lights are in the sky. My dear, we have to leave before the floor is where we lie. The driver's in the car, the take us to- um, I spend my off time playing ball, kicking it with the homies. Um, we go out, we don't really go out in Hollywood as much, but uh, yeah, we do 21-year-old stuff, for sure. Um, but yeah, I play ball a lot. So dark that we forget just who we are. I've rented out our past. Most memorable or favorite moment, man. It was either signing like my publishing deal, like the first time I ever signed a piece of paper, and it was like, yo, this is crazy. Um, because my whole family was in the room, or it was um when Common hopped on the track. Cause Common, um, like a couple years ago, he's been he's been my idol just hip hop wise. So when he came in the studio and he was listening to tracks for like an hour, I was like, yo, this is crazy. Um, and then he was like, yo, I want to get on that. And it was almost like a surreal moment, like, oh, snap. And then when I first got the song and I was hearing him rapping on it, I was like, yo, this is crazy. Um, so that was a dope moment, too. Um, and he's been a homie since. Buying up our future, you should look for new beginnings when you're out buying a toothbrush. The world stops spinning, the kids stop grinning, and the priest at the local church. Making music with a record company, for me, is probably different um, than it is for most artists because our whole thing when we signed was I want to be able to have creative control and produce my own album and write my own album. Um, and we weren't going to sign unless we got that. So uh, so we, we met Mark Pitts, who was by Storm, and he was like, yeah, man, I just want you to do you. Like, just do your thing, and and then we'll just put it out. And for me, that was like, yeah, that's 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 what I want. Um, so it's not, it's there's still people like in your ear like, yo, I like this song because you're doing this and that. But um, for me, it's easy because I'm still in charge of my music, so it's not like I'm compromising, you know what I mean? With all these children, parents unaware, worried about the grades and having financial scares and probably could never bear what the kids... Where do I find inspiration? Everywhere. Like, it could be from driving in the car and looking out the window and seeing somebody in another car and being like, oh, snap, yo, that would be the craziest idea for a song. Or it could just be like life, like something happens to me or something happens to somebody I know. And um, and then either I'll go on the piano and start writing it, or I'll start on a beat and start writing a rap or whatever it is. But everywhere, literally, it could be like just from the way some colors look on a building one time, you know, all over the place. It's sad when the world's gone, it won't help to have a rich dad. I'm just saying. Who would I fan out of? It'd probably be like some pop star girl type, Beyonce for sure. Probably like Obama. I probably give Obama some fan love. Now the world's in it, we are seeing what we missed it. Do I think about myself now or think about you? My room was like super simple, but I had a, uh, I had like my studio under my bunk bed. So like it was kind of like my bed and then under like a desk where I had like set up my makeshift studio. And then the rest of the walls were just playing. Like it was playing. I was just always in the studio, like in my like little world under my bunk bed making music. But shall I wait to the side until I see what you choose? It's like. That's
falling towards the sky. Um, any advice that I would give to anybody trying to do this is just really be yourself. Like, it's, even though people say it and it's cliche, like, it's cliche for a reason. Like, people have gone through it. Like, I remember every time, I, every time I'm with an artist who, like, is doing what I, what I see myself doing, they always tell me the same thing. Like, yo, bro, do yourself. Like, just do you. Because they always end up compromising, and then they always end up coming back to doing themselves, and that's what ends up working. So it's really just about being unique and, like, whatever makes you different, like, Literally, I say this all the time. Whatever your mom says makes you special is like what really makes you special. Like so, like, and it takes a while to understand that, but that's really what makes you like stand out as an individual. And you, when you're an artist, it's really about being an individual. So yeah. What's going on, fam? It's your boy Luke Christopher, and now you know. Like rain that's falling towards the sky, like shadows in